Hello, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed Into Focus. I sure did. So many Scots. We talked to Julia. There's just a lot of really cool things going on in the developer space. So I'm Leslie Richardson. I am a proud black woman with thick black hair and glasses, rocking a blue shirt, red jeans, and uh, I'm a whopping five foot tall, and I'm being surrounded by tons of different old school Microsoft memorabilia, including some boxes from previous Visual Studio releases, which is especially cool to me because I am a program manager on Visual Studio. And yes, that was me in the Scott Hanselman dev meeting keynote. It was super fun to make. Shout out to everybody involved. It was so much fun and I hope you enjoyed it too. So I'm excited to be with you for more of day two at Microsoft Build. So let's dive right in. Now, joining me with a preview of what's to come for Visual Studio in 2022 is program manager Mads Christensen. Welcome, Mads. Hello, Leslie. Thanks for having me on. All right. So I think I can kind of guess what it, the answer is going to be, but what is the biggest addition coming to Visual Studio 2022 Preview 1? Well, I think definitely the thing that's gotten most attention is the shift uh, from 32-bit to 64-bit for Visual Studio, the main application itself. So that's what everyone's talking about. That is the uh, biggest thing, I, I believe. Yeah, I mean, this has been such a huge ask. I don't know about you, but I've gotten so many customers asking me, yeah, when is 64-bit happening, right? So why now? What took so long? Yeah, it's it's been an ask uh, from the community for a long, long time. And, um, you know, we've been noticing over the years that developers are getting more and more memory, you know, RAM on their development machines. And so now they can actually take more advantage of uh, the 64-bit. But on top of that, as you know, we've been moving a lot of uh, components into their own 64-bit processes over the past uh, many versions of Visual Studio. And we were kind of coming to an end of that strategy. And so the next logical conclusion was to move the entire uh, Visual Studio executable to 64-bit as well. It's so exciting. And yeah, this really has been a long time coming. So seeing that evolution is really sweet. So in addition to those memory issues, are, is performance being improved as well? Yeah, um, actually let's, um, let's run this a little uh, demo video here. It turns out that we're getting a lot of uh, performance out of moving to 64-bit as well. And you can see here on the right-hand side, we're opening a huge, huge solution in tw uh, Visual Studio 2022 and it finishes much faster loading that solution than what you see on the left-hand side, which is Visual Studio 2019. And that's basically a 32-bit versus the 64-bit. What's happening under the hood is that um, the .NET garbage collector is under much less pressure when we're in a 64-bit application. And so that means that our CPU can, can do other things. And um, that means like fewer hangs and uh, much better performance in certain situations. And we've actually been a little bit surprised um, at just how you can feel that performance coming through from the move to 64-bit. There are other factors that plays a role as well. For instance, if you're uh, calling uh, Windows 32 APIs, that is a little bit more efficient when you're doing that from a 64-bit process to the 64-bit uh, OS. And so, it, you know, there's a, a bunch of different things that make up uh, the change in performance here as well. That is so great, especially if you have those large solutions with tons of different files and things. So that's awesome. But we're not Absolutely. just, uh, but that's not the only cool thing about Visual Studio 22, 2022, right? Uh, we also talked about IntelliCode whole line completion in the Scott Hanselman keynote. So can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so IntelliCode is, is Visual Studio's sort of machine learning and AI engine that all runs sort of within Visual Studio and that there's a cloud element to that as well. And we keep improving that uh, with every release we do to Visual Studio. And we have some really cool stuff coming out, which is the whole line completion. So let's uh, run this little demo here. Uh, so this is actually a real uh, ASP.NET uh, controller class here. And notice how IntelliCode predicts the next chunk of code based on my current context, and then present it as a shadow text to the right of the cursor. So if you like it, just hit tap, tap, and then that accepts that. Or, you know, just keep typing if you don't want that uh, suggestion to be inserted in your uh, document here. So what's really, really significant about this is that the AI engine knows the context you're in. And, um, it's been used, um, it's been scanning over 
uh, half a million open source repos to understand source code and create the machine learning model that is uh, the basis of all this. So very impressive stuff. That is so impressive. It's like <laughs> equal parts really cool and can save me a lot of time. Also a little scary. <laughs> so, and it, it looks like magic when it's happening in real life. So just to know that there's all this AI and training going on behind the scenes is really cool. I mean, thousands yeah, it, of different it, repos. It really looks like magic. That is really awesome. So, uh, you know, is there anything else that that developers should know about and why they should immediately hit download when Preview 1 does get released? Yeah, let's just jump straight into the next uh, demo here. It's about a simple test project that I have where different uh, tests check for what version of uh, the operating system they're executing on and also what version of the .NET um, that they're running on. And uh, you can see the tests are discovered and when they're run, you can see the success or fail depending on what OS they're uh, running on. And that's because we're running on Windows, right? So all the Windows tests succeed. But let's change that to run on Linux. So I can change my environment from local to a Linux option running .NET uh, 3.1 and rerun the tests. And now we can see a different result because we're running on a different operating system here. And I can even choose like a different environment here, the Alpine Linux image, for instance, with .NET 6. So that's really helpful if I want to run unit tests on, uh, let's say, some preview stuff on, on my latest code running .NET 6, right, which is in preview. And so on my local machine, I can execute all this on different um, environment configurations. So I can set that up, whether it, that be Docker container images, WSL, SSH or Docker file definitions, I can handle all that directly from Visual Studio here and execute that locally on my dev box. So that's very so, exciting stuff. Yeah, that's really exciting. So you don't even have to worry about how your tests are going to operate on a different operating system. It's all kind of taken care of, care of for you, right? Exactly. That is so great. It saves me so much time. <laughs> so where can people go to learn more about what's new in Visual Studio 2022 Preview 1? Well, you definitely want to hit uh, the Visual Studio blog. Uh, that's where we keep all the announcements. That's where we have the uh, sort of the broader roadmap and vision of Visual Studio 2022. So go check that out. There's a lot of great information, uh, and you can see kind of what to expect from Visual Studio going forward. Exciting stuff. Well, thank you so, Matt, so much, Matt, for joining us. I'm really excited to see Visual Studio 2022 finally come out to the masses, and I can't wait for everybody to try it. Everyone needs to hit download and share your feedback, definitely. I think you can agree on that, Matt. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope you have a great time at Build. Thank you.